Greetings, every pony, and happy Face Palm Friday. This is Adam Walker, bitches, also known as the Talking Brony, and this is episode three of What in the Buck, where we look at plenty of really, 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 really stupid pictures from all over the internet, and we make fun of it because, let's face it, there's really nothing else going on in our lives. So, without further ado, let's get started. And first up on the docket, we have a picture of an out-of-order sign on a drink fountain, but instead of out-of-order, it says, Ain't No More. Or actually, Ain't No Mo. Yeah. And the person who wrote that is probably wondering why they stuck running fast food joints. Anyways, let's just go on to the next picture. And on this next picture, you get some of the most interesting conversations on Tumblr. It first starts with a picture and a little scientific factualness that if you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. And if it bites you and, it, and you die, it's venomous. Kind of an odd rule of thumb, but hey, it's a rule of thumb nonetheless. But then let's check out the comments section. What if it bites me and it dies? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate. Learn to read. What if it bites itself and I die? It's voodoo. What if it bites me and someone else dies? That's correlation, not causation. Don't know what those two words are, but let's just move on to the next one. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's kinky. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what's going on on Tumblr when the users think no other creatures is around. <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. Alright, let's just go on to the next picture. Now, this appears to be really simple. When you text someone it, and a person driving has a do not disturb mode on their phone, it's a safety issue or safety feature so that way they don't look at text while they're driving, they don't get in accidents, saves people's lives, right? Now, of course, if the person texts urgent, this completely overrides the whole thing, like, urgent, it's an emergency, I need help, can you call the cops for me, yada, yada, yada. But apparently, someone thought a picture of John vacuuming a whole chicken is urgent enough to warrant getting their friend to look at it whilst driving the car. And they wonder why there's so many texting and driving accidents, even with the Do Not Disturb feature on their phones. FML SMH. Let's just move on to the next picture, please. Now you know this person has had it up to here with someone making big, big piles of poop in the toilet to the point where it clogs the dang pipes to the point they're having to print the sign out. It reads to whoever keeps destroying this toilet, you have great health insurance, go see a doctor. And if not a doctor, maybe an exorcist. Go poop in a field with the other buffalo. Okay, so what in the hell is going on over at this office bathroom that is warranting these signs to be printed? Is someone literally going to an all-you-can-eat buffet downstairs every single day and just pretty much eating the whole lot? That's pretty much the only thing coming through my mind. That would warrant something like that. Either that or they went to a Baltimore Orioles game. Hey, y'all! Yeah, that's a little burn for you, Baltimore Orioles. Hey, how about you start getting your poop together, and maybe we'll stop burning you, okay? I would burn the Cleveland Browns, but they're pretty much riding themselves. All right, let's just go on to the next picture. Okay, so if you thought the previous picture was a extremely unholy this one is sacrilegious to the third power probably even the fourth power yeah, as you can see here this looks like a bunch of communion wafers you would see at a catholic or some sort of baptist church 
and instead of wine, you have monster energy drinks being poured in a bowl full of them like it's effing cereal or something. So there's only going to be three reasons for this. This person hates the Catholic Church and wants to piss it off. This person worships Satan. Or this person is an atheist and a bit of a troll to the Christians. Either way, what in the world? Who came up with this idea? And why did it not get this kind of viral? I had to go into the collective section of iFunny to find this. I'm pretty sure once people start finding it, it's going to be featured. But still, what was going through this person's mind when they were pouring the monsters in the damn communion wafers? Oh my god. You realize I'm trying my damnness not to curse as much? I, If I would have been allowed to not have my filter, I would have been saying at least 29 F words so far. Okay, so bear with me. Let's just go on to the next picture before I lose everything. Alright, this next picture is pretty simple. It's a text message between two guys with no chill. It says, 1. I woke up. 2. I went to school. 3. I saw my crush. 4. I hugged her. 5. I kissed her. And then his friend said, let me guess. The correct order is 23451. And this guy answers back, forever alone, crying face. <laughs> What can I say other than no chill, just no chill, savage, all those words, oh my lord. Alright, next picture please. And to wrap up this week's episode of What in the Buck, we have a picture of Tony the Tiger in a gay pride scarf celebrating Pride Month that took place last month. So what's the what in the buck image about Tony the Tiger having a gay flag on his neck? Well, it's not the picture in itself, but the comment section from the trolls, furries, bronies, and pretty much anybody that seems to have a hard on for a mascot tiger. I'm not going to read every single one of these, mainly because most of these are just ugh, but you guys can read it on the screen. Also, this is not the only post with these kinds of comments, lewd and all that stuff like that. I could literally do an entire episode of What in the Buck just based on Tony the Tiger alone. Now, in case anybody has no idea what the hell I'm talking about, um, there's an Internet Historian YouTube channel, and he has a video covering Tony the Tiger. In fact, I'm probably going to link it in the eye or in the description below to help you guys get the reference but as you know it seems that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes mascot Tony the Tiger can't seem to post anything without these kinds of comments yes this is this is what the modern age has gone to. We are sexually harassing a cartoon tiger. What the hell happened to our society? I legitimately thought that by the year 2015, we would have flying hoverboards, flying vehicles. We'd be going to Mars by now. We'd have all this hologram, high-tech stuff. But here it is. It's 2018, and everybody is sexually harassing a cartoon tiger. A fucking cartoon tiger. There, I finally cursed. All right, a fucking cartoon tiger. This is absolutely fucking amazing. Internet, I fucking love you. <laughs> and that does it for What in the Buck Episode 3. Shout out to all the idiots that put these kinds of pictures on the internet so that way I can tr clown around and troll with y'all. If you guys want to send me some... What in the buck picks? Um, I'll have an email in the link description below. You can also DM my Twitter page. You can, I'm also trying to get an Instagram going so you guys can DM me there. And a Tumblr so you guys can DM me there too. Shout out to the internet historian for making me having to reference him for the Tony the Tiger skit. And that will do it. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
two Adam Walker bitches, also known as the Talking Brony. There will be more Press Your Luck episodes coming very soon, more What in the Buck episodes coming very soon, and hopefully some more fake EAS systems. I've been having a lot of fun with that kind of video, so hopefully I can be motivated to get you guys some more. Without further ado, I'm Adam Walker, a.k.a. the Talking Brony, and where the fuck is my Jack Daniels?